We have heard from sources in Iraq that they will be prepared to launch their minor denominations that I'm not sure whether they have any, but their new money is the tens, twenties, fifties, and one hundreds. We have three zero notes from Iraq, are these the 25,000 or 25k notes? The three zero notes, the 10k, the 5k, and the 1k, have all been taken out of Iraq. This should be completed by this coming Friday, the 30th, the final day of the month. Article, if the zeros were taken out of the Iraqi dinar, what would happen to it? Dar. Mahmoud Dagger's comment, quote, the buying power of the dinar will remain same if zeros are removed, according to economist Mahmoud Dagger after the zeros are removed, it will be feasible to compress the notes into a smaller number of notes, without affecting their purchasing power, so that instead of carrying a bundle of 50,000 dinar notes, the sum of money being offered is equivalent to 105 trillion dinars. If the zeros are removed, the quantity will remain precisely the same at 105 billion dinars. Additionally, the exchange rate will shift from 1320 dinars to 132 dinars per dollar. According to Iraqi dinar Intel guru Frank 26, almost every day today, they inform you, Iraqi civilians, that your currency will soon change. That's quite thrilling. In the past five years, these are phrases we have only dreamed about. To see them practically every day is quite startling yet really joyful right now, with so much enthusiasm and information on the monetary reform being transmitted straight to you Iraqi residents from Sudan, this is growing wilder and crazier every day. According to newshound guru Militia Man, there have probably been five or six articles in the last week or so specifically discussing the Iraqi dinar's removal of zeros. This is accomplished by reducing the nominal value of the currency by a predetermined number of zeros. Rather than the value of the currency's notes, but rather its value. According to Iraqi dinar newshound guru Pimpi, the article, Iraqi protesters are attempting to storm the U.S. embassy in Baghdad. How does that affect Iraqi dinar holders? Thousands of protesters trying to storm the U.S. embassy in Baghdad after Nasrallah killing, an unstable nation with protesters preparing to storm the U.S. embassy is the last thing you need. According to newshound guru Caperoni, remark from the community, there is a siege on the U.S. Embassy in Iraq. I'm old enough to recall the last instance in which a weak president led to the siege of a Middle Eastern embassy that I hope things work out better in the end. Offer your prayers for the U.S. troops serving in Iraq. Bad.